I love snapdragons. Here on our flower farm, we grow thousands of snapdragons every single year. But what I do not love is snapdragon seeds. And so today I'm going to show you my trick for making growing snapdragon seedlings just a little bit easier. Snapdragon seeds are the worst because look at this stupid dust. In my hand is 5,000 snapdragon seeds. I refuse to stand here and go one at a time trying to put this micro dust into seedling trays. It's not happening. I've tried to do it in the past. It takes forever. So my new technique for doing snapdragons is I just take a little bit of them and I sprinkle them like it's magic. This is a much better technique. By doing it this way, I save a huge amount of time putting the seeds in, but my work isn't completely done. If I just sprinkle them on the top of soil, it is not going to get me with, you know, a final snapdragon plug. So it's actually a two-step process. After I sprinkle the seeds on the top of the surface, I let them grow out, and this is what I end up with. You know, this is about two weeks since I've sprinkled my seeds, and I have a lot of snapdragons at the perfect stage for actually pulling them out of this mat and putting them into individual cells. And that is the main thing that I wanna show you in this video. I wanna walk you through step-by-step step the process for doing this because I know some people will find this really intimidating, but the snapdragons don't suffer at all. And this actually goes really fast if you're doing you know, more than just a few snapdragons. I've heard this referred to as pricking out. And I don't only do this with my snapdragons. I do this with peppers. I do this with tomatoes. This is a really excellent technique for when you wanna make sure that every single one of your cells is filled and you don't know what your germination rate is gonna be like. You don't need any special tools to do this. What I'm using is a coffee stir stick. The reason why I'm using this is because I have them. I have a million of these on hand because we actually use these as, as labels. Um, but if you have a toothpick, I, I'll do this, I'll find like a stick in my potting soil and use it. Um, anything just like long and skinny is gonna be able to make the hole and you know make this an easy process. But no special tools, you just need wet potting soil and your, your small snapdragons. Because this is about speed for me, what I do is I prep the tray. So I go and I poke a hole and then I just wiggle it a little bit and I make an opening, you know, and I just go through and I do the entire tray, just nice and fast. Next, you want to grab your Snapdragon. I'm gonna grab it at the base uh, firmly and gently, and then you literally just rip it out. It's, it's very easy. You wanna get it when it has one set of true leaves. This, you know, this is a little bit mature, um, but you know, it still, it still comes out easily. And then you take it, I stick the whole stem down, and then just push it in and done. Keep this well watered. It's gonna have no transplant shock at all. Okay, let's show you how to do this again. So here I have a whole cluster of them. If, if you're nervous about how to get them out without damaging it, you can always take your stick and, and loosen the soil a little bit. You know, pull up a clump here and then literally rip them apart. You know, I got a little bit more roots there. I take my stick, I push it down in and then just push the dirt back in. Go back to this clump. You know, here's another one. In, it goes very quickly. You know, and then these, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't know, sure, let's see. This tiny one, I can transplant this tiny one. There, it'll be fine. You know, and then as you, as you get an opening in your dirt, it, it becomes a lot quicker and a lot easier to, to grab them up. You know, I didn't do, I didn't do a very good job when I sprinkled them in. Ideally, you want them spaced a little bit more. Goes pretty quick. Goes very quick. Once, you know, once I get into the flow of this, um, I, I'll be going through these super fast. You know, the first few kind of, you, you want to, you don't want to hurt your plants, right? So the first few, you're a little nervous for how you're handling them. Um, but once, once you see that they're coming out easily, 
you know, it gives you the confidence and you start start making some pretty good speed. You know, and if if a lot of the roots get left in, you know, it, it really, it doesn't matter, right? The other reason that I like doing this technique for the Snapdragons is I want to make sure every single one of these cells is filled. I don't want to have any spaces. The Snapdragons, I grow at the time of the year when they need to be indoors. Snapdragons are very cold hardy, so I can actually plant these out when there's still a risk of a frost. But because they're being started indoors, that is premium space. That is very valuable space. I do not want to have empty cells under my lights. So I, by making sure that every single one of these is filled, I'm maximizing my space. I'm maximizing you know, my money that I'm getting out of there. Um, when I, if I was to put just one or two seeds in here, I find that my germination can be a little bit spotty. This just makes it easier for me. So if you are like me and you hate snapdragon seeds, I highly recommend you try this technique.